quick update just because I've got you here Friday the 13th. I did get a new phone, so I'll probably be seeing a lot more of these. Uh, I'm probably going to be traveling to northern Michigan soon um, and get out of this freaking mess that I made. Can't win them all, so you might as well lose them all. Um, don't quote me on that. Um, yeah, I'm going to finish watching Unsolved Mysteries because that's what I'm going to do. It's a good life, good time. I got to remember to not just be so teacher mode, you know. I'm a real person with real feelings, real emotions. Still don't have a autumn girlfriend, fall girlfriend. I don't think I should or it's supposed to be that way. This summer has been super hard trying to get over my relationship with Grace. Really fell from Grace. Yeah. Hope I can see her again because, man, I have mixed feelings and I'd love to resolve those before I die. If I die. When I die. Would not like to be hung up on my exes. So, yeah. I'm not trying to focus all my time and energy on paranormal or ghosts or other dimensions or UFOs and stuff. I'm trying to be present here in the third dimension. Understand why I'm here in the first place. Understand the human and the human experience. And also catch up with the multiple personalities I played for so many years and theater and life and school and just try to collect them all into one aggregate point that I can sustainably call myself or Patrick. Even though we're always changing, life's always changing. That's a one constant. Um, I would love to teach you guys and myself more about gardening, though, and the, the vibrational and energy fields that uh, certain plants will occupy a certain energy field, certain bugs will be attracted to certain smells and pheromones and energy fields. Um, yeah, I'm very excited to set up a podcast for that. So look for that video soon, especially as we enter the fall. Um, I've spent a lot of time with frogs and gardener snakes. A lot of frogs, leopard frogs, bullfrogs, baby frogs, adult frogs. Uh, today I saved a adolescent dragonfly's wings were wet and he was about to drown. Actually, there I saw their adolescent dragonflies that did drown. Pulled this guy out of my pond, let him sit on my finger for a while, and uh, over the course of 15 minutes, which felt like a long time, but I was trying to just st watch him, you know, study him. And this moment of like, holy shit, that's life, you know, kind of came over me um, as I watched as it went from like his two wings that were wet, stuck together, slowly he'd shake them off and then they'd, they'd come apart and, you know, he'd try to use his muscles and his tail to like shake them off again and get them dry and like air them out in the sun and in the wind. And he kept like cleaning his eyes. He's got like these freaking 3d eyes and it was just like wow dude that thing is alive and conscious and it was just very trippy i can't wait to be a teacher although the more i teach the more it's just for me to talk about things i'm excited and passionate about to kind of get that out I should probably see a therapist to help me compile all these notes or a psychiatrist or a shaman, someone to to be there in this third dimension with me, but also has a concept of other dimensions. Because um, I can't, I don't have the option to leave the third dimension. It's not something I'm willing to do anymore. I had a lot of back and forth, but no. I'm here, and I'm just gonna. I'm gonna be here until I am not. I'm not gonna speed up that process. So, 
Hoping for a girlfriend. Pretty excited. Because that usually is a big part of my life, not going to lie. It's been a lonely, hard season. But... Coming into fall, about to go up north, work for my cousin, do some construction. So I'm happy about that. Yeah, things are looking good. I love the lighting in here. You know, even though it's freaking love. Like, look at that. Looks like I'm just keeping a freaking light source angel power circuit in there, you know? I, I don't know what the moon is, waxing, waning. I don't know. I don't know my lunar cycles like that. I have to say to all of you, I operate on feeling more than fact. So that's something that really guides my content as well. Because it guides my life. Um, yeah, excited to join the DNR. Hopefully that's eventful. I'm going to be a teacher about regular old nature and all of its craziness and abundance. Maybe that'll help me kind of leapfrog into the more supernatural things because I'll be so good at speaking on and teaching the regular natural things. So maybe that's where my avenue is. Might go to Michigan State College next fall. See if I can use their equipment, get a degree. Um, yeah, but I really want a girlfriend. So if you're out there, come find me. Make it really hard, but also really easy. Just so you know. Okay, I'm done. I'm going to watch my stuff, and then I'm going to go to sleep. And then I'm going to leave for up north tomorrow, because it's a four-hour drive, and I need to sleep before then. Got to get up early. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Toodles.